Hello friends, it's good to be with you again today to read the Bible and to pray together. Now in the busyness of life, it can be really easy for us to forget why God saved us, what he's called each of us to do and how we're supposed to live. So today I just want to concentrate on reading some gentle reminders from his word. And so I'm going to read from Romans chapter 12, verses 9 to 21. Your love must be real. Hate what is evil and hold on to what's good. Love each other like brothers and sisters. Give each other more honour than you want for yourselves. Do not be lazy, but work hard, serving the Lord with all your heart. Be joyful because you have hope. Be patient when trouble comes and pray at all times. Share with God's people who need help. Wish good for those who harm you. Wish them well and do not curse them. Be happy with those who are happy and be sad with those who are sad. Live in peace with each other. Do not be proud, but make friends with those who seem unimportant. Do not think how smart you are. If someone does wrong to you, do not pay him back by doing wrong to him. Try to do what everyone thinks is right. Do your best to live in peace with everyone. Do not try to punish others when they wrong you but wait for God to punish them with his anger. But you should do this. If your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he's thirsty, give him a drink. Doing this will be pour like pouring burning coals on his head. Do not let evil defeat you, but defeat evil by doing good. As I said, that was Romans chapter 12 verses 9 to 21. So why don't you just try starting each day by reading that passage, Romans 12, 9 to 21, to help you to keep focused on how God wants you to live. Let's pray. The special prayer for this week. Holy Spirit, sent by the Father, ignite in us your holy fire. Strengthen your children with the gift of faith. Revive your church with the breath of love. And renew the face of the earth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And a final blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you his peace. Amen. Oh,